Aquarius singles, welcome. This is the end of January 2022 singles reading for uh, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Overall energy, I think it's important in this one. It's a Queen of Wands here. Uh, it's the bottom of the deck. So, I think this all started, let's start like this. We'll tell a story. It all started when this Aquarius tried to um, just naturally started really asserting themselves. Maybe more than uh, before. Naturally, as probably some transit, you're going to see it mirrored in your astrology, you know. Uh, 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 one of the outer transit, transit uh, planets, something, you know, probably positive. Uh, this is your energy around love relationships here. Romance and uh, five of wands. And in keeping with this queen of wands, uh, as you begin to, this is where you stop uh, people pleasing. You stop uh, caring, you know, overly. It's uh, the uh, codependent behavior uh, stops. The uh, the kid gloves come off sort of the, it could be like Neptune in a positive way. Neptune can do the opposite, you know, make you overcompromise, dreamy. And here you are getting sharp, and with the five of ones, you're taking actions, and probably in relationships, and you're it's 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 not so much fighting, it's learning, and it's actions, and uh, you're getting a lot of reactions to what you're doing. But my guess is here, Aquarius, you're learning a lot too. It's all like a good and necessary thing. In fact, I see kind of a process here. I really don't see a person. But uh, with the three of ones reverse, it'd be a good reason not to see a person. It'd be uh, kind of not looking for shops to come in. I have a joke like if I had a dating site for astrology, <laughs> I might call it the three of ones, uh, you know, uh, dating site. Uh, looking for your ships to come in. Um, and uh, it seems to me if you're the queen of ones and you're in this kind of energy, uh, you're giving yourself a minute. And I think that's good, but it's just what I see here is sort of like being stuck in a conflicting mode. So you you uh, maybe in the past, like before this all started, I want to go back to the, when it all started uh, and been like in the recent the last year, maybe have something to do with Uranus and, you know, Taurus now is your planets could make it that square Saturn's doing stuff like this. So, um when you have the advice of the Nine of Swords, the Spirit doesn't want you to be unhappy, but, you know, uh, there's an owl here sitting right here watching her. The sword's overhead. They're sitting up, can't sleep, like a nightmare, covering her heart, covering her chest. Can be protective here. Um, so I think what this is saying is Spirit saying, and it's kind of corny maybe, but there's something going on in, that you're overcompensating for. Because I think the Queen of Wands, you know, and the Five of Wands, you know, Wands are actions, so acting out, behavior, not like chastising, you don't necessarily have to be bad, <laughs> you know, uh, it's kind of acting out whatever it means to you to just be, I'm going to be myself, here's what I want to do, here's what I love, which is cool, right, but maybe, I'm just saying people are not used to it, maybe it's uh, a little bolder or something, uh, and it, we have to ask them what is this kind of covering up is it something uh, mentally uh, we keep going around about it uh, if we're covering the heart you know ultimately it's something emotional page of pinnacles so something that this is a it's uh, there was a younger person than you or it's when you were younger but they were definitely an earth sign here we got a Taurus Virgo Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus personality guys i gotta say this it's really screaming in me first love first love first love this is your first love aquarius this shit goes back to your first love i don't know i got laid when i was like 15 i was in love i should say like that I was i mean but i was 15 years. uh but uh, i ended up being with her for nine years uh, uh exclusively and getting married you know uh but, um, so it had a huge influence on me. I think at that age, you know, you're, you're 
our hormones are just kicking in and we're literally programmed to kind of formulate sexual strategies and you know we're already you know, I think that's where this is coming from guys and this is a outcome this is a lack mentality not feeling good enough I mean the most literal thing this is going to be completely literal is the first boyfriend girlfriend criticizes you in, in a way and you know that I, I tell you about stories like I was a kid I was uh, walking down the street, I don't know, teenager, you know, but this is where we're forming, like, our identity sexually, and these three girls, one of them I really like, you know, we're walking on the other side of the street, and I'm kind of, kind of nodded at him high, and uh, I could hear him talking, and one of them said, he's really hot, and the other one said, yeah, and the third one said, yeah, but that nose, and the, and the other two went, yeah, and then I went from being like, whoa, I'm hot to, oh, my God, you know, in fact, I remember that, and I'm 62, but, you know, if a boyfriend or girlfriend does this, maybe this is the first time in our life where we're falling in love, man. You know, and we're we're also, what? The hormones are kicking in. We're literally programmed to formulate a st sexual strategy, you know. This is exactly on another level is why you see, you know, fat, old, obnoxious guys that just can get laid because they're exuding confidence because at this time they were the quarterback or something. And no matter how big a loser they go on to become, they still have got that mentality. On the other hand, you have someone here as a big loser in adolescence. No one, you know, is giving them attention. And they formulate the belief system that they're not valuable. What's going on here, God saying, sneaking in there where, where it's exactly coming from. Because I think, you know, I want, this is advice from Spirit. I want Spirit to help me. Just tell me what exactly is going on. I think that's it, guys. You know, uh high priestess all right i'm clarifying this five pinnacles you know this is the number two card this is a manifestation this is divine feminine energy of the, of the magician uh and this is uh i think your advice for where to go with this aquarius you know how to kind of go get out of this and move on from it and i think going from the five of ones to the five pinnacles is really good I, I see this, hopefully this helps why well, I want to take so much time to go down into this advice card uh, because, uh, you know, there's a process here uh, sort of evolving and really getting a concrete Five of Pentacles understanding. So it's not, you know, about really the lack mentality. And what will that be? It'll be the high priestess coming in with this much uh, uh, higher vibrational level and the higher understanding of things. In, in understanding that you for sure are valuable uh, for one here. So, uh, really it's a positive read, Aquarius. I like it for you guys. Um, with, we know from that position, you're going to move on. If you want love, you know, you'll find love. I think that's how it works, guys. So let me know. Give me a like. Appreciate that. Helps move it along with the algorithm, as it were. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm trying to hit thousands when we go live with these. Thank you, guys.